So first of all, the dead man boxing mechanic in the live game. Uh, players splashing on each other may now be attacked by other players after splashing for a certain amount of time, just as it worked in DMM. We have also improved this anti-boxing mechanic to make it more effective. This will reduce the number of players who abuse the boxing mechanic with alts to protect their mains. This applies to the entire wilderness alongside everywhere in PvP worlds. So that's a pretty big change, guys, for all you PvPers out there. Next, the Clan Wars portal, de-sculling. Players who use the Clan War FFA portal to lose their skull will now regain it back correctly if they attack a player they previously sculled on. This is to prevent players uh, from leaving a fight to de-skull to come back and continue unsculled. Similar to this change above, this applies to all worlds. In other news, the PvP world rota will remain on B to make up for staying on A for four weeks over Christmas. Farming. So the farming guild's door has been updated again. Players will now be able to interact with things in different tiers of the guild without being stopped, assuming that they have the requirements to enter that tier. Guildmaster Jane will now correctly tell the player they need to check the health of their cacti to complete their farming contract. Shift click on the seed box from Grycaller's farm now lets you empty it. Players can more easily interrupt the repeated action when filling a compost bin. The descriptions of allotments containing snape grass no longer mention potatoes. The auto-picking of bitter cat mushroom patches is no longer interrupted by the anima plant effect giving you a free mushroom. Kebos and Zaya updates. The Dragon Hasta KP is no longer tradable. The death protection value of the Dragon Hunter Lance has been increased. The alchemy price of the Hydra Tail has been reduced to 60k, rendering that thing completely useless now. I'm glad I have 64 of them. We've slightly tweaked the worm animations to help assist those who are sensitive to flickering effects. That's really cool. The hill northeast of the Chasm of Fire no longer teleports players to the bottom when they try to go up it. The Golden Tench's combat stats now match the stats of other fun weapons. Ents in the Woodcutting Guild now correctly state which logs you receive from the Ents' carcass. Several drawers in the Lovacang area no longer block tiles in front of them. A door in the Lovacang area now has the correct open-close options. When receiving a metamorphic dust drop from the Chambers of Zarek challenge mode, a broadcast will be sent to everyone in the raid much like when a player receives a unique drop. The Boots of Stone will now appear on the Slayer skill guide. Hair clips will now work as lockpicks when stealing artifacts for Captain Khaled. Mobile changes. The pest control shop interface has had its black background removed since it wasn't rendering well on mobile devices and looked ugly for desktop users too. As part of this, the buttons have been made more responsive on both platforms. The world switcher layout has been restructured to make sort buttons stay visible as the interface scrolls and increase size of the sorting buttons on mobile. The Pyramid Plunder overlay on mobile is now positioned in the top left making it less obstructive. The Winter Top Boss next game countdown timer no longer displays when a game is started. This occurred when backgrounding the app on iOS and returning as the next round starts. The Prayer tab on mobile now has an info icon which when activated displays tooltip information on tap. The store orb no longer overlaps the Castle Wars timer. Graphical fixes. A render order issue with male snow imp leggings was fixed. A stretching issue with the Christmas tree leg and heavy ballista was fixed. Arnold from the Piscatoris fishing colony has been a physio in his spare time and has had his neck repositioned. <laughs> the large spade has been slightly rotated to help avoid clipping with multiple hats and to increase value for PKers. The inventory model of the dragon pickaxe has been slightly adjusted to be consistent with all other pickaxes. An issue with the Third Age pickaxe special showing the incorrect pickaxe was fixed. A piece of roofing in the Falador Mountain Mining Shop was fixed. Some broken trees in the west of the Legends Guild were cleaned. We've updated the colors on Alfred's Bark Crawl to make them easier to read on the beige parchment background and listed the locations of any bars you've not already visited. A minor gap on female abdomens when wearing the anti-Santa panties was fixed. Issues with skin showing through hair while wearing the Deerstalker were fixed. A stretching issue with the zombie trousers and light ballista was fixed. The inventory icon of grimy snakeweed has been changed to make it easier to differentiate between grimy and clean snakeweeds. The color of the Ceridomen and ancient god pages have been adjusted to make them match their respective god books. Grammatical fixes. 
Some spelling errors in the Kebos Diary task list have been corrected. Some grammar with the laser plant have been fixed. A typo has been fixed in dialogue with Archeo. A type in dialogue with Jardric during Dragon Slayer 2 has been fixed. The bartender's chat options in the Golden Field bar now call the selected dialogue. Other fixes. Overlapping clicks on the minimap orb no longer also count as clicking on the minimap. The clear options on bank fillers have been switched around. Clear is now offered above clear all, so that players accidentally triggering this menu are less likely to wipe so much of their bank. Players who have completed the Elite Ardon Diary can now opt out of receiving free sand from Burt each day by speaking to him if they no longer want the free sand. They can speak to him again to re-enable the reward. Progress in the Tower of Life pipe puzzles will now be remembered if you exit out of the puzzle. The way Sotetseg's orbs appear have been tweaked to help with the issue of them sometimes disappearing. So let me know what you guys think of the new updates down in the comments below. If you guys like this video, make sure you subscribe below and turn on alerts. I'll be posting up videos anytime there's new updates on RuneScape, anytime I find a new way to make money, or if there's anything that I think will help the community out. Thanks for watching, guys.